Hello students, you must be familiar with some of the solids which are cuboidal, spherical or cylindrical in shape. You must have seen some utensils of these shapes too. There is one more shape which is very common. Recall the shape of a glass that is tumbler which is used for drinking water or a cup or a bucket. Do you know what these shapes are called as? These shapes resemble frustum of a cone. Today we shall perform an activity to find out total surface area and volume of a frustum of a cone. To perform this activity we require some materials like cardboard, colored papers, adhesive, pair of scissors, ruler, geometry box and a marker. Let us understand how a frustum of a cone is formed. Look here, we have got a cone. If we cut this cone with a plane surface parallel to the base and remove the portion which has the apex, then we are left out with a portion which is known as frustum of a cone. Look here, this surface is known as the curved surface and it has got two circular faces. This larger circular base has radius R1 which is equal to 4 centimeters and this is another circular base which has radius R2, here it is 2 centimeters and the height of this frustum of a cone is 6 centimeters. Now let us learn how to calculate the volume of this frustum of a cone. What is the formula for this? It is V is equal to 1 upon 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 into r2. On substituting the values of pi r1, r2 and h in this formula, we obtain V is equal to 1 upon 3 into 22 upon 7 into 6 into 4 square plus 2 square plus 4 into 2 that is equal to 44 upon 7 into 16 plus 4 plus 8 centimeter cube. On simplification we get 44 upon 7 into 28 that gives us 176 centimeter cube. Now in order to calculate the total surface area of the frustum of a cone, we need to calculate the curved surface area which requires slant height. Let us first see how do we calculate the slant height of this. We can calculate slant height by using the formula square root of h square plus r1 minus r2 whole square. On substituting the values, we obtain under root 6 square plus 4 minus 2 whole square which gives us under root 40. On calculation, we have L is equal to 6.3 centimeters. Now, in order to calculate the total surface area of the frustum of a cone, we need to take the three areas into consideration. This is curved surface area and areas of the two circular bases. We substitute the values in the given formula that is pi L into R1 plus R2 plus pi R1 square plus pi R2 square. On substituting the values, we have pi into 6.3 into 4 plus 2 plus 4 square plus 2 square centimeter square. That gives us 22 upon 7 into 57.8 centimeter square which gives us 181.66 centimeter square. This bucket resembles the frustum of a cone. We can see here it exactly fits into it and we can say that this bucket is in the shape of a frustum. So, students, we have performed an activity today to find out volume and total surface area of the frustum of a cone. Thank you.